Bloodstained Men is live in Las Vegas at our billboard. We have got a camera crew here. This is our press conference for the kickoff of our 2022 Southwest tour of the United States. We're going to be doing 20 cities in 20 days. Thank you everyone who has donated to this amazing, amazing action. Look at this billboard in Vegas. Ladies and gentlemen, how about, how about going through there? You're great. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Bloodstained Men press conference at the Las Vegas billboard. We are pleased to be here uh, live in Las Vegas. We will, uh, after this press conference, we're going to go down to the strip. If you live in the Las Vegas area, please join us. It is my honor to introduce you to the president, CEO, co-director, and planner of Bloodstained Men, David Atkinson from Boston, Massachusetts. Uh, David Atkinson, thank you for uh, all the work that you do to make Bloodstained Men the success that it has been. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, we're now going to hear we're now going to hear from David Atkinson. Childhood forced in amputation is cruel, worthless, and harmful. We are here to warn Americans of the fraudulent and abusive mutilation that is still being inflicted on the majority of our newborn boys. Today, we, the Bloodstained Men and their friends, are kicking off a 20-city tour of the southwestern USA. We are warning our fellow Americans of this clear and present danger to their boys, to the men those boys will become, and to our society at large. We speak from experience, most of us having been permanently disfigured by infant penis cutting. No, these were not botched operations. These were considered successful, inflicting exactly the amount of damage intended by the perpetrators. Successful in that they lined the pockets of unethical doctors, hospitals, and those who manufacture the tools of oppression masquerading as medical devices. Successful if you consider forcibly and fraudulently robbing a helpless person of a valuable body part and then selling it for your own gain a success. Successful if you consider a human being as having no human rights as nothing more than a source of spare parts for unethical and highly profitable bioengineered products. Just last year, the New York-based children's rights organization, Intention, published the results of an investigation uncovering documents which detail that hospitals across the nation are engaged in the trafficking of stolen genital tissue harvested from living children who did not consent. Thus far, the perpetrators have gone unpunished but the American people are waking up to this historic injustice. Two ongoing court cases have captured our attention. In New Jersey, the case has been brought by victims of the American Academy in Pediatrics, alleging fraud on the part of the AAP, which knowingly deceived American parents by removing information about the functions of the foreskin from its policy statements regarding the amputation of that body part. And in an innovative lawsuit in Massachusetts, the taxpayers are demanding that Medicaid no longer reimburse the practitioners of medically unnecessary procedures, since it is already forbidden by state law to waste tax dollars in such a way. In addition, two important books have been published in recent weeks. The law professor, Peter Adler, has expanded a previous journal article into a full-length book titled Circumcision is a Fraud and the Coming Legal Reckoning. And Brendan Barada, well known for his award-winning documentary film about foreskin amputation in America, has now published Children's Justice, in which he argues compellingly that the harmful treatment of children is a systemic issue, and that we must dismantle the systems of oppression which allow social injustices against children to continue. While the ones they then are focused on street protests, we welcome these other developments, since we know that social justice movements require a variety of strategies to be successful. We, the Bloodstained Men, advocate for an end to violence against baby boys. 
No one should be welcomed into the world with a knife. No one should have their right to their own intact body violated. No one should be gaslighted and lied to as we have been about what happened to us when we were too small to defend ourselves. We, the bloodstained men, advocate for an end to medicalized knife attacks. We believe that by eliminating the trauma of penis mutilation and the humiliation of having been subjected to sexual violence as children, we will see less senseless violence in the years to come. We ask you to join us in achieving that goal. Awesome. Thank you, David Ackerman. Let's have a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Awesome. Thank you, David Atkinson, and I will talk to you uh, live on Facebook in a moment. Um, let's see if uh, any of the uh, gentlemen of the uh, press have any questions. Uh, there's uh, a Zeke Spector from uh, Vice Media in New York City. Uh, Zeke, uh, if you could come close enough so that uh, uh,
rather intense. Uh, I believe there's one that says that um, circumcisers should be jailed, um, that they are, uh, they're, uh, it's sex, uh, cut, penis cutting is a sex crime. You know, when I, when I listen to these, you know, I first think about my parents who, you know, opted for me to be circumcised, and it makes them seem like they're, you know, um, Joseph Bengala, you know, the, uh, the, the, the Dr. Bauschwitz, that they're, you know, some, uh, that they're bad people. Is, is that what you, I mean, am I supposed to feel, am I supposed to put these sides and, and think that my parents are bad people? I do have a lot of sympathy for parents who have been misled by uh, those medical professions who they should have been able to trust. Uh, in general, we believe that most parents allow their children's genitals to be harmed because they think they're doing the right thing for that child. And so, uh, that's the same reason that other parents will protect their children from penis cutting because they think they're doing the right thing for that child. So, uh, this is why I'm optimistic about this issue because parents love their children and once they understand the structure and function of the human foreskin, they will stop allowing this to happen to their children. I guess just one more question while we're here. Oh, we got the Oh, yeah. You know, again, going back to the rhetoric here, you know, uh, and going back to the, the topic of the Judaism, do you think that uh, this potentially could allow a slippery slope for uh, for anti-Jewish hate, that, uh, that make it seem like, uh, you know, this is a, is a ritual in the Jewish custom? that they should be uh, locked up for doing something that they think is a command of God. We are often asked to address uh, false and dis disingenuous accusations of anti-Semitism against us, which are designed to derail our progress and to perpetuate the suffering of children. And there is no merit to these accusations. Uh, we are strongly opposed to discrimination based on religious or ethnic background, and this is why we strongly oppose genital mutilation of all children, regardless of the religious beliefs of the victim's parents. The right's religious right. Thanks, guys. Um, Anybody else? You have, uh, if, if, the, if the press has any additional okay. questions, that would not be a problem. I, does that do any of my colleagues have any questions? You guys are all impressed. I, uh, I can ask a question. There's an alternative. Can you tell us your lap? Yeah, why don't we, uh, uh, David Atkinson, do you want to talk about Rich and Um, uh, uh, sure. There, there is a, a community of Jewish activists who have come up with the, uh, a, it's not a procedure, it's, the, it's not a ritual, but is it called a ritual? It's the naming ceremony, it's, it's the, the ceremony. ceremony. Exactly. They've come up with this naming ceremony called Rit Shalom, which is a, a non-violent uh, celebration, which does not harm the guests of honor. And there, you can find, uh, I think there's a website celebrating Rit Shalom, and there's a lot that has been written about that in recent years. Uh, David Atkinson, uh, uh, Anastasia has suggested that you uh, give your display of the uh, foreskin and the functions of the foreskin. Do you, I have an info card here. Or you probably have one. So the cameras are probably going to want to get in close from the media to see this because this is a very, very compelling demonstration that, that David has given many, many times uh, on tours. Okay, the average adult foreskin is the size of this bloodstained men info card. It's a double uh, David, let me interrupt. Can you explain why the average adult foreskin is that big when people yeah, are used to just the, 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 they yeah, think yeah, that the foreskin? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Doing it. Pardon me. <laughs> <laughs> the average adult foreskin is the size of this bloodstained men info card. It is a double layer of skin, so it folds in half and wraps around. And this is what covers the head of the penis in the intact male. The outer foreskin is like an extension of the shaft skin. The inner foreskin is a mucous membrane, like the inside of your lip or the inside of your eyelid. And then in between these two skin layers, you have the dartos fascia muscle tissue. That's the same muscle that's in the scrotum that responds to temperature to bring the testicles closer to the body if it gets cold, for example. That works the same way with the foreskin and the head of the penis. There's also lots of blood vessels in between these two layers. And there's also lots of nerve pathways that terminate in these Meissner's corpuscles fine-touch nerve endings like you have in your fingertips and in your lips and in the clitoral hood in the female. And 
they exist here in the tip of the foreskin. And this entire structure is destroyed when it's amputated. And then the head of the penis becomes an external organ, which it's not supposed to be. It should be warm and moist and protected all the time, like your eyeball or your tongue. Instead, now, it's exposed to the elements, it rubs up against the underwear, uh, it dries out and gets covered with a layer of keratin, which is basically like a callus. And so not only do you lose the sensation in the part of the penis that was destroyed, what remains is further desensitized. And this also messes with the mechanics of intercourse, because when the man goes into his partner, the foreskin will retract, and when he comes out of his partner, the foreskin will again cover the head of the penis, and so the lubrication will stay inside. So we have a, a huge market for artificial lubrication in American pharmacies, because men's penises are not working the way they were designed. And in other parts of the world, European men, Asian men, South American men, they don't have this problem because their penises have not been tempered with. So it's a very destructive uh, thing to do to the human genitals. We're live in Las Vegas at our press conference. We've got Vice News. What? Vice News is here. They're going to be making a documentary about bloodstained men, the intactivist movement. We have this gorgeous billboard up in Vegas. And we've got over 20 activists on our first day here. Thank you, Danny Alexander, manning the uh, camera. Um, yeah, uh, no, keep it reversed because I want to do it that way. I want to do it that way because I noticed that uh, yeah I'll take over here so uh, ladies and gentlemen uh, Danny Alexander covered our uh, live broadcast um, Danny do you, I, I know that the uh, back microphone does not pick up pick it up as well but hopefully you heard uh, what uh, and we did get the video ladies and gentlemen so I'm very very pleased to be here at the billboard ladies and gentlemen um, you can see it behind me and uh, I guess that's in reverse, but it's just awesome. And you can see, ladies and gentlemen, now uh, we have uh, Vice Media from New York City flew out a film crew of uh, four men to uh, film Bloodstained Men here in uh, Las Vegas. They are going to be going down to the strip with us. It is uh, uh, Zeke Spector with uh, Vice Media and their film crew. They have uh, they filmed us last night at our. Uh, residential home and uh, they are here at the uh, press conference today uh, and they will be uh, going down to the strip with us and uh, so you can uh, find uh, when that program is uh, broadcast it will be uh, spiraling uh, by uh, Zeke Spector on Vice Media and so we are very honored to have Vice Media uh, represent the um, American uh, press here today in Las Vegas at Bloodstained Men's Billboard. I'm gonna reverse the camera and um, let you see here. Uh, I'll give you a view of it. Uh, Cheryl Rollins says, thank you for speaking out for all the new, absolutely, our sons deserve it. Taylor Mabry, yes, uh, let me, let me uh, reverse the camera. I wanna make sure I press the right button. Um, it's so bright out here, and I don't have my reading glasses on. I think uh, David Candela, I, is this the uh, is that the reverse camera right there? That button right yes, there. Yes, Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, uh, here's the scene, and uh, very very pleased. That David Atkinson gave a very very powerful, moving speech, and I hope you heard uh, every word that he said. Uh, Chris, uh, Bi hello, Chris Bishop. Uh, you guys, the most amazing people ever. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Chris. Uh, really, this is a, uh, uh, we represent, we represent uh, all of you out here today, ladies and gentlemen. We would not be out here without you today. Uh, oh, oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for all the uh, compliments, uh, ladies and gentlemen. I can't see them all uh, trying to uh, keep the camera focused. Uh, it's just a remarkable, remarkable uh, moving experience for Bloodstained Men here to uh, be out here by our billboard. You can see how many people we have out here, ladies and gentlemen, just absolutely wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Okay. 
Yeah. What, what did you want to do? Uh, you, grab, grab your mic from you. You want to get it back, right? Yeah. Oh, oh, because I need to change batteries. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Do you want to just take it? Are, are you all going? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna uh, head to our car. We're gonna meet you at the. Strip. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna we're wrapping it up. Okay. So. Can you uh, uh, pull out your? Just undo it. and I'll pull it out. Sorry. Let me let me get David. Could you take over this live view for me? Don't don't get us. Just All right. just get the billboard. David Kendall. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is our uh, live broadcast from the billboard here. Uh, we do, uh, I, I hate to leave, uh, I think we probably will come back to the billboard at the end of this tour. Uh, we start a 20 day tour today, ladies and gentlemen, the Southwest tour. Uh, we're we're going to uh, wrap it up here. Uh, the media has left. Uh, they, are, uh, uh, they are heading down to the strip where uh, they are going to film us. And I will go live again from the strip today, ladies and gentlemen. Um, uh, it, I, you know, I, I hate to leave this billboard. This is uh, this is just really, really remarkable. Really remarkable being here. And this is uh, Zeke Spector of uh, Vice Media uh, talking to uh, David Atkinson and some of the other intactivists. Uh, Vice Media with a, a film crew of uh, uh, with a crew of uh, four men uh, flew out from New York City to uh, cover Bloodstained Men here in Las Vegas. And they will be uh, down on the strip today. That one I was prepared for. Yes. <laughs> yeah. They have to say it's anti-Semitic because if we get what we want, they lose a sacred practice. You know that they do not want to lose. Yeah. Not just, they do not want to lose it. So they have to say whatever they whatever they need to to make you know us seem evil, bad. You know, anti-Semitic, right? Bigoted. I mean, in, in, for you know, if you're a Jew and this is what you believe in, you know, I think you should do that. I don't. Well, I guess I'm going to express this in the video anyways, but I don't think it's, you know, the mass, the massness of it. I'm like, oh, why? It's, it's uh, outdated. So, that's, I don't, well, and I don't, you know, I'm okay with having a lot of because that's how we're going to talk about it in the final piece. So, you know, good for them. Do they say that, you know, uh, being against female dental mutilation? David Atkinson, we should be heading down the strip now. Yeah, yeah we're going to wrap it up. Thank you, Zeke Spector. Zeke Spector, ladies and gentlemen, from Vice Media here with a, a crew of four men. Can we get the big banner taken down now? So I'm going to stay live here, ladies and gentlemen, while we are taking down the big banner, but we are wrapping it up here. We're going to head down the strip, but uh, 
I can see many of you are still enjoying the, uh, let me, I, I thought I had reversed it the wrong way. There, there we go. Good morning. Good. I got it. Yeah, I'm the, uh, the CEO of Blood okay. You guys aren't in any trouble. I'm just okay. trying to see what's going on. How are you going to be out here? And... We're actually leaving uh, right now. We're packing up because we're going down to the strip. We were okay. just planning to be here uh, to see our billboard, and we uh, we're here. For, we've been here about an hour. Okay. And now we're going down to talk to some people downtown. Cool. So. All right. Let me give you one of our cards. Okay. Appreciate it, sir. You guys doing good? Yep. Otherwise, good turnout. Here's a couple to take back yeah. to the station, too. Okay, thank you. Appreciate it. You thank you. Thank you. Uh, uh, also, you can uh, tell your colleagues that we will be down at the Strip uh, on uh, Las Vegas Boulevard uh, near Hard Rock Cafe. Hard Rock Cafe. In about 45 minutes to an hour. Okay, thank you. And uh, that's a, a typical... Uh, uh, encounter with the law enforcement. Uh, he was not there to hassle us. He just wanted to uh, get an idea of, and you know, they, they like talking to us and uh, seeing what we're up to. Uh, that is no problem, and we uh, have no problem with talking to them. And he took our cards. Who do you want to get on the sign to help take it down, David? Anastasia, could you help uh, David with the sign? We're trying to get the big banner taken down. Yes, sorry, I'm posting uh, the picture of everybody to Instagram. But yes, oh, okay. I'm, I'm literally posting it right this second, and then I'm done. Well, he might not need help. Looks like he's got under control. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is our most epic billboard yet here on Las Vegas Boulevard. Bloodstained men and their friends, and we could not have done this without your generosity. Uh, while you're watching, uh, go to Bloodstained Men and Their Friends, and uh, there's a fundraiser tab on our page. Uh, make a donation to our ongoing uh, winter 2022 fundraiser, ladies and gentlemen. We do need your financial support to... Um, actually, I don't need to keep using that microphone, do I? It, it's noisy out here. You can't... Uh, you probably can't hear it, uh, but there's a... Uh, Sam Rose, uh, actually, we don't mind telling them, though. We, we, uh, if, if they give the heads up, we don't mind because, uh, you know, we may end up talking to more police downtown. We don't know, and we don't know how crowded it's going to be downtown. But, but yeah, but you're right. No, technically, we don't have to. Um, but, ladies and gentlemen, so please do go to Bloodstained Men and their friends. And also, you can go on our uh, website, bloodstainedmen.com and uh, make a donation through PayPal there. Big rig. You can see all the truth. This is uh, this is just an epic intersection, ladies and gentlemen. I have a feeling, a hunch, that uh, we will be back here at the end of the tour because we are coming back to Las Vegas and we have not actually set the location yet. I don't know. Uh, we, we probably will come out here. Let me so you can see. You can you can get an idea of the scope of our protest here. The media has left. They are going to uh, be down uh, at the Strip and uh, filming us down there. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, Terry Smith. Thank you for the donation. Yeah, so I was talking about donations, ladies and gentlemen. You can see that billboard. You can see the road crew out here. We are all volunteers. None of us get paid. We don't earn not a penny. And uh, that is the uniqueness of intactivism, which is that 
we are volunteers. We feel so strongly about this that we, we uh, donate our time and uh, our uh, compassion to the future of American uh, children and the adults they will become, the men and women of the future. All children should be protected from genital mutilation, ladies and gentlemen, and that is the message of bloodstained men and their friends. Circumcision, cruel and harmful. All children should be protected, period. So go, uh, there's two ways you can donate. Well, there's several ways you can donate. You can actually send us a check to our post office box in Davis, PO Box 7, uh, well, go, our, go to our website. I, I, don't wanna say, I, I don't wanna get it wrong here live on live broadcast. Um, and uh, be on the road and with all, all the things that are going on, I, I don't wanna recite the PO Box by heart and get it wrong. But uh, go to bloodstainmen.com and on bloodstainmen.com you will see uh, two ways that you can donate through PayPal or by sending us a check to our post office box in Davis. Uh, you are watching this live uh, video right here on Facebook Live. If you go to Bloodstain Men and their friends on Facebook right now, you will see our fundraiser tab at the top and that is our winter 2022 fundraiser and it is lagging ladies and gentlemen and I, I hate asking you for money. It's, it's the part of this work that I hate but None of it goes to me or the others. All it does is it puts up our billboards and it pays our travel expenses for our volunteers. There's a honk of support behind me. So uh, you will find the winter 2022 fundraiser on Bloodstained Men and their friends on Facebook. And please do five or $10 if you can afford more, whatever you can afford. We all oh, thank you, thank you. Thank you for the kind words. Um, Gwendolyn says hi. Hi, Zayden and uh, Skyler in Minnesota. And uh, Mark Brigham is watching. Uh, and uh, we will be, I believe we're going to be, there's a big, big honk of support from a big rig truck driver there. And that was clearly a honk of support. Um, but ladies and gentlemen, uh, we really do need your donations. This is how we how we get this work done, reaching the American people with this message. It is just remarkable, just remarkable. Uh, even uh, as we're on this tour, th today is day one of 20 days. Uh, we are moving on. We will be in uh, Lake Havasu City, Arizona tomorrow. So at the end of today, uh, well, I'll be talking to you later. I'm gonna, we're gonna go down the strip. Looks like they're ready to go. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I will see you from Las Vegas Strip in about 45 minutes to an hour. Thank you for, thank you for tuning in.